When you make a, a judgment that you're going to charge somebody a certain premium, you think that you'll probably make a little profit or some profit on the premium. And generally, you, are you doing that now? Yes. I mean, you know, that's not been AIG's past. Uh, from 2009 to 2019, it lost over $30 billion in underwriting. Um, and so uh, coming in, I arrived in 2017 with a great team uh, that followed me here. And we be began that underwriting journey. Um, and so now we do make underwriting profit. So for every dollar we underwrite risk, um, you know, we make around, you know, 10 to 12 cents a profit without the investment income. You bring in these premiums and all insurers then invest it and yes. you get great and people do invest it, I assume, for you. So what kind of return are you looking for on your investment portfolio? 75% of the portfolio tends to be fixed income. And so in this new interest rate environment, actually the investment income is going up. And then the remaining portion will be in some form of alternative uh, investments such as private equity uh, or commercial real estate. And that's done very conservatively, uh, but we really are not going to win on just the investment income. You really need to make an underwriting profit. So we balance both uh, you know, very well. So I should say private equity, uh, my own firm does have a relationship with AIG. So uh, of course you can't put more, too much money in private equity, right? Your investment professionals can't put too much money in that area, right? Absolutely, they do a great job. So in terms of the investment return though, um, generally are all insurers now basically making money both on investment return and on, on uh, premium underwriting? Is that what basically the core yeah, of the I business? I think generally speaking, the industry is making underwriting profit on its, its underwriting and it's on uh, the investment side as well.